Some more innovation awards here at uh, CES. We're talking with uh, Sojo Aman at Cortex, and uh, he has quite an interesting uh, product that's a little hard for me to get my brain around because uh, probably I've been in too many PowerPoint presentations, too many conference rooms, and uh, just have a, like an old school uh, attitude. Uh, you, you've got some real changes in the works here. Yeah, um, it's a very interesting market right now because there is um, there's a lot of content on the web. Web uh, internet is becoming a giant TiVo, right? And there's a lot of content on the PC and the mobile phone. And, the, and there is a need today to be able to watch some of that content on a larger screen. Whether we want to share it with family and friends or we just want to watch it, it's a, you know, it's a, a long length content and we just want to sit back, relax and watch it. Well, a lot of conference rooms, I think now, as plasma uh, uh, flat screens drop in their uh, in their price and so forth, uh, you find this in a lot more corporate uh, sorts of environments. And now that the internet provides a different source than you had before. Yes. So absolutely. So the product, uh, I believe, the need is ubiquitous. It's it's needed in the enterprise market. It's needed in the education market. But it's also needed in consumer, uh, work, you know, home, because. My kids are watching Club Penguin, and they want to watch it on a large screen TV and not fight over a small screen laptop. Or my wife wants to watch Desperate Housewives. It's on the internet. You know, she wants to watch it whenever she wants to watch it. Uh, there are, I can literally get Indian channels, you know, you know, one fifth of cost on the internet than I have to pay on the satellite. So, but I don't want to watch that TV on the PC. I want to watch it on, on a TV. So the problem is then that the content that you want to watch is coming to you in a number of different devices that not, aren't necessarily compatible with the uh, widescreen TV itself. That's right. So what Cortex did was to build a device that takes, the, uh, that takes your PC screen or your mobile screen and allows you to replicate that screen onto the TV. Okay. So, so how does it? My impression is that the phones have a much lower resolution than 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 the flat panel displays. So, how do you how do you transcode or, or upgrade the quality of the image? Well, uh, what we have to do is uh, uh, fundamentally scale. Uh, you know, we do scaling and a lot of filtering to uh, keep the quality. You know, uh, you know, to give as high of a user experience as possi possible. But. Um, you know, it, it, it's, it's not easy. It's non-trivial to be able to take anything and everything that you want to watch, whether on the mobile phone or on the PC, onto a large screen display. First of all, we didn't want to add any piece of hardware to the phone or to the, t uh, to the PC. That means uh, we, we could only add software, and that software had to be able to take the, take the video, you know, encode it, uh, take the audio, encode it, timestamp it, uh, you know, encrypt everything so to retain the security and everything, uh, DRM. Send it over Wi-Fi, receive it on, on our chip in the box that, connect, uh, that is connected to the display of TV, projector, monitor, whatever it is. Decode it and display it, right? And uh, over wireless. So that's what we did. EVDO cards and, and uh, the high-speed 3G network has really changed the, the whole mobile phone world so that you could actually have someone to email you a, a PowerPoint uh, presentation. So let's say in a business situation that there's been a change of PowerPoint, it's been emailed to me, but I don't have a laptop with me. With your device, uh, I, I still might might have a chance to salvage the morning, did I? No, you not only salvage it, you'll do great. We are actually showing it uh, that device right here. 
where uh, from uh, whatever you have on your phone, on your mobile phone, whether it's PowerPoint or photos or whatever, through this box, you can watch it on your projector. Okay. So I can right now uh, play, uh, right now we're showing you a, a, a photo. Right now we're showing you a photo, but you know, it can be, um, it can be, uh, it can be PowerPoint as well. So this is a photo embedded inside a PowerPoint, right? So uh, I can I can show you PowerPoint and um, to, uh, you know we can do that right now. So so what you would have would be your your mobile phone with your content uh, on it, and then uh, your device which is connected then to the flat panel uh, uh, TV. Then is that right? That's right. So the uh, uh, the box um, uh, with our chip inside it connects to the TV. Uh, just like you connect a DVD player. So, so then the uh, form factor. Then this this looks kind of like a prototype box that uh, the champion. Yeah. yeah. Uh, remember, we don't manufacture boxes ourselves. We have uh, go-to-market partners, OEMs. We provide chips and software to people like Oki and D-Link and AdLogix that then build boxes of different kinds and take it to market. So when will when will we be able to uh, see this available to consumers? Is this going to happen this year? It's actually available already. We launched the product in Q4, um, you know, of 07, and uh, it's available um, through Oki in Europe, and it's available through AdLogix in the U.S. through Etail, and um, D-Link is uh, planning on la launching it later on this quarter in in retail, and followed by a whole bunch of other people, service providers and TV manufacturers and PC manufacturers. Okay, well, it's pretty exciting. And once again, congratulations on your innovation award, and thanks for sharing uh, with us here Thank today. Thank you so much. It was great talking to you.